the height he got when he bounced off that chair. And here comes Sonogashi Katara. Change his controller to the right controller. I would, I want man, but hopefully the this man ends with the hard block. Oh, he's not happy with right his vote, but he's going to come over here and he's got the ground to make up. Possibly on the squid's face with his with his boot because. He's gonna have to super kick his way okay, to a victory baby. here, boy. I tell you that. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Jordan okay, Andrews. Baby. Matt Andrews. Okay, Andrews baby. But West Coast heartthrobs. You know, this is another 10 minute match. We're putting the Andrews through the gauntlet what? here. The cult versus the okay, West Coast heartthrobs. Of course, this man didn't set his control. He just pressed down. Try it now. Come on! Can you move here? Come on! Try to move. Come on! I, I moved you. There you go. I already moved your control. Come on. Next time before you hit the buttons, you gotta set the controls. Remember that. I know, I know you guys are excited, but you gotta work with yourself here. We got a game of footsie going on here. Man tried to climb the rope to get away from the uh, Sonogashi Katara out here. Big boot to the face. I should have put the bets up, man. Fire Pro Online, you got to remind me to put the bets up in, in situations like this, bro. You know what I mean? The Baz, me, the Baz are you supposed to be making money off of this. Somebody's supposed to be making money. What y'all doing? What's going on here? What happened? Yeah, you can't quit the match like that, bro. Uh, nah, I'm not going to put the poll up, man. Come on, man. We, you can't quit the match because other people are trying to play too. So you do your match, man. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that, Matt Andrews. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, we're going we're gonna to get this popping. Fight. Ten minute match. Get up. We got the square versus Matt Andrews here. And this should be interesting. You know, I watch a lot of the Andrews boys fight, and I'm always very interested in their fights. Because, um, you know, the Andrews boys, their whole style kind of circles around about three to four moves, you know? So you rarely get to see them kind of stretch out into their repertoire of moves. So these singles matches are a good opportunity to see that, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, two big drop kicks here. Third drop kick here puts Matt Andrews out the ring. Two, three, four. Man, he's okay, taking baby. a breather here. Three. Look at this choke here. So many guys here. Man Andrews is going to have to apply a strategy here because I believe Sonogashi has one. And he's a tough cookie. I see him take the uh, tackle or challenge earlier. And this man likes to grapple. I'll tell you that. Or at least he thinks he does. I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how I feel about the Sonogashi. That's a good counter here. But that's what I'm saying. That counter right there, like a fighter counter or something like that. Maybe a grappler, I guess. But when he brings you down on the counter, I've noticed that he's not really ready for the counter part. Like this one, he's good because he slides into a back grab. He's always ready for that throw to the uh, to the rope. You know what I'm saying? But 
That other one with the counters into like a, a mount position. I don't know if guys is ready to be down doing some mat wrestling here, but luckily for him, Matt Andrews is not going to take him to the mat. You know? Matt Andrews is more of like an American style wrestler, I'd say. You know, you're going to get a lot of kicks and super kicks and things like that. But I think he's going to be hard pressed to try to out suplex Sonagashi Kataro. Sonagashi Kataro, he's pretty good on the throws. I'll give him that. He's not like, you know, the greatest throw guy here, but he's definitely good on the throws. You can tell he has a MMA background as well because uh, his MMA skills are pretty good, I would say. He also has a pretty high technical understanding of how to fight. Translate good to his punches. Look at this man. He's a smart man. Let me get that hip toss out. If I was him, I, I would concentrate some more on those hip tosses. You know, I would try to throw this man here and there. And wear him down a bit. You know? That's nice wheelbarrow here from Matt Andrews. This is Kataro. I mean, listen, man. He's not going to let you get it. That is tough. I'm gonna drop it. Some guys are going to be on bar. Jumping on bar. I need to break Matt Andrews' arm if he's not careful. Gets out of it. Now, a lot of people wait, ladies and gentlemen, until that grapple gets on there. And what's. Okay, baby. Matt Andrews here getting, getting a weapon. He must be scared. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we fight to survive. We don't. We don't do carpentry. I don't know what's happening here. I feel like make you do crazy things, ladies and gentlemen, you know? Ooh. So much gosh, he's almost right on that hand. I mean, he could have been a little less blatant with it, but I guess he got the job done. And here's the first... First mount attack we've seen from some of the guys you gotta watch the positioning on that because he's awfully close to that again. I don't know if that was the intended effect there. Awfully close to the sledgehammer. Coral. And uh, I don't think he wanted to be. Let me be real with you. you know, landing on a sledgehammer, having a sledgehammer land on you, it all sounds painful. Be real with you. All sounds something like something you did work with top for. Look at this one, the real man. Super kick to the ground. Sorry, he's super quick. Oh, my gosh, he took it. Now, oh, my gosh, took a big brain. Now, she's back in the time to drop. This is a little match. Look at this. Next step here. He is sitting on the lower back of Matt Andrews. Oh, trying to step his neck, and here's an arm bar. Oh, my gosh, he's pretty good with the holes. Like I said, he has, definitely has an MMA background. Mixes it well with some professional wrestling uh, moves. You know, that atomic drop. Some of these holes he's putting them in. You know? But, uh... He's looking pretty good out here. Pretty fresh. That's, uh... You know, Matt Andrews. Oh, it's a suplex. Let's see that man from the top rope. He's in La La Land. He can, if you look closely, you can actually see the birds spinning around his head going... <laughs> Off the rope now. Goes for a light attack, you know. And this is where a lot of the guys from the uh, the older school of the young lions, uh, I would say, outside of like maybe a black jeez. Look at buses. Some of the guys do super kick. They get used to doing a lot of light attacks. They don't have a lot of variety because they're so afraid of the grapple. I don't know if it's because he got him afraid of their own grapples. Look at this. Stole that man's move. West Coast destroyed this man. That man is destroyed. Nice trip here. Matt Andrews not happy. And so, you know, these guys rely on not a lot of moves. So when, when they don't do a lot of variety, it kind of, in longer matches, it starts showing, you know, that, that lack of variety and, and skill set. And what happens is you don't know how to set yourself up for different situations. What do I do from the corner? What do I do from this way? What do I do from here? You know, stuff like this. And he landed right on that. Uh, he landed right on that 
sledgehammer. You know, you don't know when to do what from the corner. You know, stuff like that. We only learn that from trying to have a ride. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Lord have mercy. This hammer's getting a lot of fly. Hits him with it again. West Coast Destroyer two times for the man. He's not going for the pin. He's just, he's just playing with this man at this point. He's playing with fire, my man. Trust and believe. Now West Coast Destroyer hits. Listen and listen home. You better figure out your game plan to win this match. You would have got the style points for the West Coast Destroyer. Now you're going to need a win-win. <laughs> Nice suplex here. One, two. Ooh, almost sent that boy home. And trust and believe he did not force the kick out. That boy wanted to send him home. Oh, backstabber. Matt Andrews. Now Matt Andrews has got to do something to send this home. Both of these guys know the other guy is looking for a finisher. The, the jig is up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who's going to get it first? Uh-oh. There you go. You see, Matt Andrews has pride on the line. He can't just leave this match without a finisher. You know, he's been at this game longer than, than Shino, Sonogashi. And Sonogashi, you see, he's got pride on the line, too. Uh-oh. West Coast Destroyer. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Hey, go find your car, man. He's in that one. Oh. Matt Andrews. Big Matt Andrews. Big Matt Andrews. Okay, oh, gosh, he hit, hit him with that West Coast Destroyer twice. Okay, like two baby. times, didn't even attempt to okay, I don't know baby. what he's looking for. And I don't think okay, it was <laughs> to be face down in a pool of his own blood. Okay, All his opponent cheers for himself on the okay, top rope here. I tell you that. Okay, baby. Okay, okay baby. In my own blood. Eight minutes, 56 seconds, West Coast Destroyer. Matt Andrews takes the victory.